our solar system, nine planets floating around a star we call the sun. And in all of the known universe, we know of only one planet that can sustain life. Earth, the water planet. Without water, our planet would be lifeless, barren, and desolate. Oceans cover 71% of the globe. They impact our climate, generate oxygen, are the primary source of protein for a billion people, and they impact economies all over the world. Today, our oceans are on the verge of irreversible collapse. 90% of the big fish, tuna, swordfish, and sharks are gone. Huge swaths of thousand-year-old coral and other irreplaceable ocean habitat that sea life depend on are being dragged, bulldozed, and destroyed by multi-ton bottom trawlers in a desperate high-tech search for more fish in the depths of the ocean. And local fishermen, whose catch fed their families for generations, are being driven out of business because there aren't enough fish left to catch. Too many fish are being taken out of the oceans, and those that remain are being poisoned by mercury and other dangerous toxins. PCBs from industrial and municipal waste accumulate in small fish and move up the food chain to larger fish and right into our seafood. Dolphins have been shown to be so full of toxins that they would be labeled hazardous waste under government regulations. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration now warns women of childbearing age and children to eat no more than six ounces of tuna fish a week and to eat no swordfish whatsoever, because doing so can cause mercury poisoning and neurological damage. The good news is that it is not too late. We can solve these problems we can save our oceans. Founded in 2001, Oceana is the largest international ocean protection group in the world and is headquartered in Washington, D.C., with offices in New England, Alaska, Oregon, California, Chile, Spain, and Brussels. We have more than 300,000 supporters and members in over 150 countries. Our worldwide teams of scientists and economists study and report on the conditions of everything from fish populations to mercury levels, from fish markets to what's safe for your child's lunchbox. This scientific information enables us to work with governments, corporations, and fishermen around the world to create and enforce laws and policies that will help restore the ocean's health. Oceana goes where the oceans need us from the Atlantic to the Pacific, from the Caribbean to the Mediterranean, from the Arctic to Antarctica. And the good news is, Oceana's campaign method of ocean conservation is working. In just a few years, we've begun to turn back the tide of ocean destruction. Oceana's work with the European Union created a new law that mandates serious jail time and substantial fines for the financiers, owners, and operators of boats that illegally dump oil. This new law could prevent as much as 20 million tons of oil from getting into the ocean every year. The single biggest reduction in oil pollution in decades, anywhere in the world. In Alaska, we developed the Oceana approach, which became the basis for new federal regulations that now protect almost 300,000 square miles from bottom trawling, industrial fishing's version of strip mining. In California, federal officials also adopted the Oceana approach to protect another 250,000 square miles of ocean habitat from destructive trawling. This area, together with the area protected in Alaska, represents the largest amount of ocean ever protected. 550,000 square miles, 
an area larger than all the national parks and forests in the United States combined. A stunning victory that more than doubles the total amount of ocean protected in the United States. In Miami, after a year of campaigning by Oceana, the second largest cruise line in the world, Royal Caribbean, agreed to install advanced wastewater treatment on all its ships at an estimated cost of $100 million. This means that 29 enormous floating cities will no longer dump inadequately treated sewage from toilets, showers, and laundry into the oceans. We also work to get the federal government to require fishermen to put escape devices on their nets so they don't accidentally catch and kill sea turtles. This could save 60,000 endangered sea turtles every year. And as a result of intense pressure from Oceana and other groups, one of the largest mercury polluters in the country agreed to switch over to mercury-free technology. In Chile, Oceana is building a new environmental movement for the oceans from the ground up and has been instrumental in getting the Chilean Congress to amend its fishing laws to include conservation measures. Oceana is beginning to turn the tide, but we need your help to truly win this fight and to bring our oceans back. If we fail to act now, there will not be a second chance. But we can do this. We can restore the oceans. Our lives and the lives of generations to come depend on it. The Earth needs the oceans, and the oceans need Oceana. Hi, I'm Ted Danson. I've been working on ocean issues for over 17 years and I'm proud to be sitting on the board of Oceana. We've inherited beautiful and abundant oceans. To let this all slip away without a fight would be unthinkable. But with your help, this is a fight that we can win. Please help support this important work. Thank you.